I found the weirdest chess openings of all time, and I'm gonna play them all to test if they're secretly good. And first on the list is an opening hated by everyone. You remember being at the dinner table with your mom telling you to eat your vegetables and you really didn't want to? Well, if you literally spell out the word cabbage with your pawns, you get the cabbage opening. All right, I'm gonna load into my first match to play the cabbage opening. So I'll start with C3, and I am risking my actual elo by playing on my actual account. So I really am gonna try to win even with this dumpster fire of an opening but the goal was simple if i can win this match i can prove that this opening is secretly good i know in the voiceover i just said this opening might secretly be good it's not i can guarantee you that it is not so the opening is now complete i've spelled out the word cabbage but my position is just terrible oh no their knight is already gonna drop in uh and that is a bad fork oh, okay this is already really bad oh no now this pawn is getting attacked uh, I- can I defend that? I guess I have to play my knight out here. This is really bad. Wow, this opening is actually terrible. Do not play this. Yup, and now I am just getting comboed. Oh my god. Oh no, the queen is coming in. I think I'm checkmated. I'm gonna sacrifice a rook just to try and survive a little bit longer. Oh no, my king is stuck. I have to block. And that is checkmate, wow. So is the extremely weird cabbage opening secretly good? No, it's definitely not. Please never play this, it is horrible. But the openings will only get weirder as we go, especially for the next one. If you like animals, you know the best animals are the primates. The monkeys, the apes, I mean, just look at them. So I'm of course going to play the orangutan opening. All right, I know what you're thinking. This pawn push looks really stupid, but this unironically is actually not that bad of an opening. Even though my pawn is attacked, I'm counter-attacking their pawn. And so they defend their pawn, but I can just play a3, defend mine as well, and this is actually decent. From here, I should just be able to complete my development, and I think I'll actually be doing better. This position is already a million times better than the cabbage opening. So black has this huge pawn chain in the center, so I'm gonna try to open up the c5 and start attacking along here. Ooh, wait, I might be able to get my knight to a really good spot here. This looks super nice, and I can defend it with my other night. I am getting a little lower on time though, so I will need to speed up. We are now getting a lot of trades on the C file. Ooh, that doesn't look like a good move because I might be able to move my queen in. If they capture my queen, I can take back with the B pawn and then that is a pass pawn that black does not have. So they defend their queen of their knight and the bishop defends the knight. This trade I still think is good for me though, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Now I'm gonna try to start getting my king into the game. They go for this, but I can go ahead and just trade that right down. This is a pass pawn, but they can't really push up because of my bishop. I might be able to actually push though, so I'm gonna start trying to do this. This pawn's just gonna keep on pushing if they don't do anything. So I might be able to win right here if black makes the wrong step. They trade, so these are two connected pass pawns, but black does stop that. We now have an opposite colored bishop endgame, which most likely is a draw, but I need to see how this plays out. Oh no, this position is a draw, but I think my opponent is gonna be able to time me out. Oh no! I let them push. Oh no, I'm lost. Ah, uh, that was probably a draw, but I just had not enough time. So is the orangutan good? Even though I did end up losing, I actually got a pretty good position there. So this opening actually has some quality to it. But do you want to know an opening that is complete garbage? Well, for this next opening, instead of me telling you how terrible it is, let me just show you. You literally just blunder your rook on move two. But it just might be secretly fantastic, so I am going to try it. I am not excited for this next opening, the Meadow Hay Trap. I am literally gonna play a5 and then sacrifice my rook. This is... Oh, they didn't even capture it. But in the spirit of the opening, I think I'm just gonna play e6 and let them capture if they want to. And they do, so I take right back. Uh, I don't actually know what the idea here is, but I am down in exchange, so I think this is literally just a worse position. But if I win this game, I can prove this opening is actually better than it seems. I have a striking feeling that I am going to lose, but I guess you never know, there's always a chance I could win. I guess? Oh crap, I just blundered. Oh. Okay, well that is already really bad. Yeah, the Meadow Hay Trap, uh, it's... 
<laughs> it's not very good. In terms of my position now, other than being down material, it's really not good. I do have a lot of pawn space, but my pieces are very weak. This is a nice outpost for the knight, so, I mean, maybe I can get something out of this. Or not, I'm just gonna get kicked away. Uh, I'm down material, so I don't want to trade. I think I'll just head right back. My best bet here is I'm going to try and close everything down. That way, they can't really make any progress. Okay, this is not great. Uh, looks like white is going to start a large attack. Okay, this attack is super dangerous. I think I'm just gonna try and run away and hope for the best. That is an issue. Okay, I don't think I can defend this pawn. I'm just gonna try and run away and hope to not get checkmated. There goes the bishop. This is not going well. Oh no, the rooks are infiltrating. They are getting very low on time, but unfortunately, I do not think I can win this. All right, this is a big issue. My bishop does defend though, so uh, I'm not I'm not dead yet somehow. Oh, and this is the final nail in the coffin. White promotes. Oh, my only move I can make is move over. And then queen takes his checkmate. Yeah, the meadow hay trap is horrible. Never ever play this opening. But fortunately, it looks like this next opening will be a lot better. All right, so we're gonna be playing the bond cloud in this opening. That is king to e2 on the second move, which is a terrible move. My only real hope here is to try and get a queen trade and end up in some sort of an endgame. Other than that, I'm going to try and just huddle my king and keep him as safe as possible. I could take the pawn, but I think in the spirit of the bond cloud, I'm gonna take with the king. My opponent gives one check, but I can just back right up. There's nothing really scary here. Surprisingly, even though I don't have any pieces out, I'm actually doing not that bad. If my opponent accepts this queen trade, then I'm actually gonna be doing great. And they do, nice. So now I just need to get the rest of my pieces developed, get my rooks into the center, and I'm actually going to be doing nice. They pin my knight to my king, but that's not an issue. I'll just move my rook right over. Oh, now I can play knight here. Attack this pawn. That is a little bit annoying for them to defend. So they drop the knight right back. So I think I'm going to rotate my knight out this way and also open up my bishop. If this pawn moves... That is a hanging knight, and behind it is a rook, so this could get really bad for them. So first, I'm going to take this bishop. Their pawns are going to be a little bit messed up, and I think I can now push in the center here. Yes, and now I can get this pawn. That is super strong and super annoying for black to deal with. I'm going to now rotate my bishop into here, where it is a lot better. And now, I can double stack my rooks on the h file, and I can probably push here. Oh crap, I just realized I have 20 seconds. Oh my god. I, I was not even looking at the timer this entire time. Wow, I, I probably have just lost this game just because of my time. I wasn't even looking at it. Oh, okay, okay, wait. I can probably push and promote. Yes, I can. Okay, um, move over. Oh crap, I have five seconds. Promote. Um, run. Run again. Here. Check. Boom. I push. Promote. Get other queen in. Checkmate! Let's go! 1.4 seconds on the clock. The bond cloud is a certified great opening. Thankfully, this next opening seems to be pretty good as well. So next up, I have the crab opening where I play h5 and a5 to make the kind of crab pincers. These moves are not very helpful, but they don't destroy my position either, so I might be able to do very well here. In the meantime, I'm going for this fianchetto setup. I don't know if I want a castle though, because uh, h5 makes my king side very unsafe. So I think I'm going to go for a double fianchetto, and I might just keep my king in the center. It's a very weird setup, but uh, it's a very weird opening, so I think it works out. And they push right in the center. I think I'm going to try and just play d5 and try to lock everything up. Oh, whoa. Wait. Is that just a blunder? Wait, oh my god, that's... That, I think that's literally just a free knight. Um, alright then, I guess that's the power of the crab opening. They're now lining up on the C file, which actually might be a little bit dangerous. I really just need to survive here and I'll be doing great. I'm up a piece, so I just want to try and trade as much as possible. That's one piece traded, and that is a second piece traded. 
I'll even offer the queen trade. I doubt they're gonna take it, but I might as well offer. I'm gonna push my H pawn the side. There might be a very sneaky checkmate here if they miss this. Nope, they captured, but I can just capture right back, and there are still a lot of scary threats here now. Oh, wait a minute. Can I capture here? I think I can. Because if takes, check, and the queen and the rook come in, and that's gonna be a force checkmate. Wait, I don't think they have any way out of it. Let's go. They captured. Check. There's nothing they can do. They can block the bishop. I just capture. King backs up. Oh, the king can try to run away. But I can still win on material. Because after king there, I play this check. And I simply just win the queen. Unfortunately, I do have very low time still. So I need to play very, very well. Oh, but my queen can come in now. With my knight. And this is getting super, super dangerous for them. Check. And checkmate. Let's go! So is the crab opening good? Yeah, they kind of just blundered a piece, probably from a misclick, but that's the raw power of the crab opening. This is fantastic. You have to try it. But my happiness would not last for very long. I am not excited for this opening. So here I play f5, which is already a very bad gambit. Okay, so white actually did not capture, but the Fred is here on the second move. I play king to f7 which is absolutely horrible now they capture and uh yeah this is the bond cloud but worse in like every single way now their queen comes in and uh the idea here is now i play g6 they capture i can't take back because of my rook but i do play king to g7 and it's captures captures and uh this is the full thread they do play this check so i will block and here i'm down two pawns with a terrible position uh i'm not checkmated yet i guess but if it weren't for the opening right after this this would undoubtedly be the absolute worst one my rook is already being attacked i'm gonna try to slide my rook over potentially they give a check i move over please do not move that bishop into h6 i'm going to really aggressively here try to trade queens that is the only way i'm not going to get absolutely rolled okay that is kind of scary but this actually and i think i'm fine so i think i can actually go here now everybody is defended and i think i'm gonna get a lot of trades yes we trade queens all right, this is exactly what I wanted, but I am still down two pawns going into an end game. So it is probably going to take a miracle for me to not lose here. I think I can actually go ahead and capture this pawn though. It's uh, definitely dangerous, but I'm already in a much worse position, so I might as well try. White is expanding on the king side though. That looks very, very scary, but I am expanding on the queen side. So there's a small chance I could do well here. Actually, wait a minute. How is white defending this pawn? They're attacking my knight, but I don't think there's any way they can actually keep this pawn defended. And that is equal material. I think I just made the comeback of the century. Then again, they are still moving on the king side and it is still dangerous. My knight is now hopping all the way in, attacking the rook, attacking their pawn. Oh, fork right here. They attack my king. I think I can just slide over. Oh, skewer. Capture. And take. Oh my god. I have 16 seconds, but I am up two pawns. And I'm just pushing there. I'm just attacking their king. Oh my god, I'm gonna promote. Promote. They can't do anything. Let's go! And now I'm gonna promote my queen. Oh my god. I am actually gonna win with the Fred opening. And boom. And boom. That's checkmate. Oh my god. So despite looking like an actual atrocity, the Fred opening is secretly fantastic. But there's only one option for the weirdest chess opening, the Fool's Mate. Alright, so I start with pawn to f3. My opponent went d5 and now I play pawn to g4. Now they go pawn to e5, which means I am probably gonna get checkmated. So I'm gonna try to play knight to h3 and root my knight back here. And uh, yeah, they would have checkmated me right away. But now I can play e3 and I'm actually kind of surviving here. I'm not doing great, but uh, it's not over yet. Wait, why do I actually have like a pretty good position now? My knight can hop to the center. This is a pretty strong square and their queen is just now stranded. Ah, uh, but they attack my knight. So I think 
like I'm going to be forced to trade and then back up here. Okay, they attack my queen. I think I have to move it up a little bit. This is kind of awkward, but I think I can go ahead and trade here and then I should just be fine. I'm going to play c3 to prevent their knight from getting to a very good square. They cannot take this pawn here because then b3, my king's going to walk over and that bishop is just trapped. But I am going to play f4 and make a push for the center here. I could capture, but I think I'm actually going to push and this might be able to be a very strong pass pawn. Time is getting low. I'm going to move my bishop to e2 so I can get that trade. They slide their bishop over, but now I can move my rook onto the f file, and that's th this is very, very good for me. Okay, now they capture. I'm going to take with the knight to attack their queen. I'm now threatening bishop c4, and that could be really bad. Oh my god, wait. I didn't even realize they just blundered their queen. Oh crap, but I have 20 seconds. Okay, I got to play really well really fast. Oh wait, it's my turn. Oh my god. Oh, I have 10 seconds now. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Please trade. Thank you. Yeah, queen comes in. I capture here. Uh, I go right here. Oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap. Uh, push, 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 promote. Queen has to come in right there. Resign. Let's go! I can't believe the fool's mate is secretly a great opening.